Hey friends, it's Travplay, and today I'm super excited to show you how to beat Me Brawler. But first, today's a special day because I finally reached the end of my How to Beat series. <laughs> I started this series over a year ago, and boy, is it satisfying to see it all the way to the end. I want to thank you for your support and advice along the way. If you've liked my content and you've made it this far with me, then let me know by liking this video. And the good news is, I'm not done. Not even close. I'm just getting started. There are still three more DLC characters coming out, and I have a lot more exciting content in store, such as how to beat part twos, more Smash content, and even some Let's Play series. I'll be uploading every Tuesday and Friday at noon Arizona time, and I'm really looking forward to it. Now keep in mind that my guide won't cover everything, and in the end, usually the better player will win most matchups. But these tips and visual examples will improve your character knowledge so you know what to look out for. I'd also like to thank everyone who contributed to give me information regarding me brawler's strengths and weaknesses. For competitive stage picking, choose a large stages like Town and City, Kalos, and Final Destination, because that will make it harder for me brawler to approach, especially if you have projectiles. And as for counter picks, me brawler's weak against the projectile based zoning characters and Mii Brawler is strong against characters with laggy moves or ones that can be easy to combo. Most pros rank Mii Brawler as mid or high tier. Now to help you consistently beat Mii Brawler, I'll show you moves to respect and weaknesses to exploit. Let's get right into it. What makes the Mii Fighters so tricky to fight against is their wide variety of special move options. If you're playing online, which right now most of us are, then you'll start the match without knowing what special moves to expect. You need to observe what special moves they use as the match begins, memorize them, and adapt accordingly. Leave a comment on what you think is Mean Brawler's best moveset configuration. Now buckle up as I show you each of the special moves and what to respect about them. Neutral Specials first. Shot Put is a powerful projectile that can bounce twice with an active hitbox. It does a lot of shield damage and it's an effective edge guarding tool. Make sure to jump high to get over this move. Flashing Mog Punch is a powerful rapid jab. It's effective in the air as a surprise attack or a landing mix-up. Shield or avoid this attack. Exploding Sidekick is a lot like Falcon Punch. It can be reversed, but it's got slow startup, so just don't get hit. Now for side specials. Onslaught is a deadly dash attack you better watch out for. To beat this, make sure your movement is unpredictable, and try to bait me Brawl into using it and then whiffing. There's a wide window to punish after they miss, so go for it. Burning Drop Kick is another powerful attack that lunges at you. I rarely see this move in competitive smash. Shield or avoid, and then punish. Suplex is a fast command grab, sort of like Ganondorf's side special. Fortunately, Suplex doesn't have much knockback, so the chances of losing a stock to it are slim, but it does deal a hefty amount of damage. And be wary of me Brawler using this to cheese you off the ledge. Don't stand too close to the ledge unprepared. Now for the up specials. Soaring Axe Kick is the brawler version of Cloud's Climb Hazard, and it's the most common special I see. This move is powerful and can kill you over 120%. It's a very effective out of shield option with a long disjoint. Watch out for getting spiked by this move at the ledge. Mix up your recovery and avoid this attack, then punish after the whips. Helicopter Kick is a rising rapid kick, similar to Fox's forward air. It's a powerful move that is mostly used as a recovery. Its horizontal movement is great, but its vertical movement struggles. You can easily edge guard this move by attacking Mii Brawler from above. Thrust Uppercut is a deadly attack, but it's pretty easy to avoid, so it's mostly used as a recovery. And it doesn't have great vertical movement, so you can look forward to gipping Mii Brawler when they have this move. Now for the down specials. Head on Assault is a rising and falling attack very similar to Yoshi and Bowser's down specials. So check out my videos on them for more details. Don't let this move break your shield. Try to bait this move out and then whiff punish. Faint Jump is the most common down special I see. It's similar to Zero Suit Samus's flip jump, except at the end of the move, Me Brawler can attack at more of a diagonal direction. This move helps Me Brawler to get around projectiles, so you need to be ready to shield this move. It has a decent amount of end lag, so you're typically able to punish it afterward. Counter though is exactly what the name says. Me Brawler counters and then throws you. Compared to most counters, this one is weaker because it doesn't work against projectiles or if you hit their legs from below. Respect Me Brawler's aerials. Most of all, watch out for the Nair. Very similar to Mario's Nair, it's a powerful move that can quickly lead into all sorts of combos. Either shield or avoid it, and then watch what Me Brawler does. If they keep attacking, then keep up your shield. If they Nair and then grab, then be ready to spot dodge or even attack. And for all you casual players out there, here's me brother's final smash. Its initial attack is a big kick in front of me brother, so avoid that area as best you can. Before I get into the weaknesses, 
please hit the like button and subscribe if you want more content like this. I'd really appreciate it and it helps a ton. Now for me Brawler's weaknesses. First off, they have poor range. Their punch and kicks just can't compete with long sword characters. If you get a sword, then be willing to challenge me Brawler's attacks with attacks of your own because swords will usually win the trade. Projectiles are effective against me Brawler. They only have one projectile and it's too slow to stop the zoners from zoning. So me Brawler will usually try to get around the projectiles and attack. So try to keep them back and rack up the damage. Me Brawlers are easy to combo because they're fast fallers. So lay on the combos once you get them started. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. When you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. And although Me Brawlers are considered middleweights, they're the lightest of the Me Fighters, so they can get KO'd early. And finally, you can exploit Me Brawlers' recovery in a plethora of ways, depending on their special moveset. Here's some examples. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button and subscribe for more. Also, check out my playlist of how to beat every character in Smash Ultimate. There's a lot of info there. And let me know which character you'd like me to do next. See ya!